the Queen wrapped up warm as she headed out on a shoot with some close friends on Friday. The monarch was on the Sandringham estate, trussed up in a khaki cagoule with her hood up as she followed the action. Joined by a bevy of local friends, as well as her daughter Princess Anne and her husband Tim Lawrence, the 92-year-old led the way, using a walking stick to negotiate the rough terrain. Prince Philip, who was spotted in London yesterday, did not attend. Sir Jackie Stewart was also among the shooting party, well known for being a keen marksman. The 79-year-old was a prize-winning member of the Scottish Clay Pigeon shooting team before he became a racing driver and competed in the UK and abroad. It is no surprise to see the former F1 racing driver among the party today having firmly established himself in the royal fold from a young age. He enlisted Princess Anne to write the foreword for his biography and his wife Helen, who is now battling dementia, is godmother to Zara Tindall, the Queen's granddaughter. Her Majesty was also joined by several canine pals, sure to be a welcome addition for the monarch who lost the last of her beloved corgis last year. The Queen herself did not appear to get to grips with a gun but appeared instead to offer encouragement from the sidelines. Earlier in the day, she enjoyed lunch with the shooting party. She also took the role as royal chauffeur getting behind the wheel of her Range Rover to transport her guests though it is unclear whether or not she was wearing a seat belt. This comes following the news that the Duke of Edinburgh was not wearing a seat belt during his crash in Norfolk just over a week ago. Following the incident the Queen faced criticism for making a similar journey without wearing one last Friday. However, it appears that the royal has remained vigilant since having been spotted wearing a seat belt on Tuesday. Police have spoken to the Duke after he was pictured driving a new Land Rover alone and without a belt just 48 hours after his crash. The royal family is well known for its love of shooting with a Boxing Day shoot an annual tradition. In years gone by, the Queen would be joined by royal wives during the festive shoot, following the gunmen and often wringing the necks of injured birds. But during the last hunt the 92-year-old monarch and her 97-year-old husband turned up in a Range Rover just to watch for a while and eat a lunch. The shoot today comes a day after the Queen visited the Sandringham branch of the Women's Institute in Norfolk, where pointless quizmaster Alexander Armstrong was guest speaker. Her Majesty, who is known to be a superfan of the BBC quiz show, enjoyed tea and cakes with the ladies and took part in a live version of the quiz, which her team won. The Queen is now in the final weeks of her time in Norfolk, expected to return to Buckingham Palace in the first week of February. She will mark the 67th anniversary of her accession to the throne on February 6, normally done privately on her Norfolk estate. The longest reigning sovereign in British history became Queen on February 6, 1952 on the death of her father King George VI.